welcome viewers super sam 6 size 7 here i am once again on the teen torch server and i'm standing in front of my uh my building here um still don't have a name for this thing uh, i still have no idea what to call it um although uh, you may notice that there are some slight changes in it uh for instance is the trap doors here um, and then there's all the uh, andesite um, all around it and that's actually because uh, fossil 308 was complaining to me <laughs> well not really complaining but more like asking me to uh, just add more color or contrast to it so I was mining for a while and I actually mined all the way into 1.8 uh, terrain and I found a bunch of andesite because of that so um yeah so i was able to do that also he didn't like how like the height of it so i just kind of redesigned it a little bit in the interior to uh get it a little bit taller um and uh like for instance like here he didn't like how it was like kind of asymmetrical which i kind of agreed with that but uh, the design before was dependent on a few things, um, but I, I just kind of changed things around a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to be adding some glowstone in here. Just, I ran out of glowstone, so I can't put any more in there. Um, and then uh, also, like here, I'm going to be adding another anvil right here. It's just I don't really want to spend the iron yet. I want to mine a little bit more before I make another one. And then I'm going to put another piece of glowstone on top of it, so it's going to kind of cover the sand aside. But, um, but yeah, so. I've made some changes around this place. I haven't added any redstone yet, um, so I'm still gonna mine out some more uh, till I uh, till I get enough. Okay, come on. Okay, so uh, I have this chest full, not full, but like ha has some items in it. Uh, for one, you're gonna notice all the banners, and I renamed uh, some of these. So this one says Super Sam 6 i 7 this one says Z-Man 7771999, this one says Fossil 318, there's Squid Ninja, um, there's a uh, little bad Bubble 412, and there's Inti Sun God, uh, and basically uh, once the game is actually all started up and everything, what you're going to do is you're just going to take your banner that has your name on it, um, yeah, and uh, you're just going to, you know, like make it your banner. Um, so like I have a design for uh, a custom banner of mine, um, which I actually I want to get to doing um, pretty soon. I might do it later. Actually, I, I probably won't do it later in this episode, but I might do it in the next ep episode. Um, and uh, yeah, so you're just gonna take it and then you're gonna plop it down in the uh, the new uh, player. Uh, chest uh, it's gonna be in here and then it's gonna automatically put you into the system and then you're just gonna have to hit the new the new player button um, and yeah and so there's also a couple books in here this one has like, this is gonna be the rule book I haven't actually written in it because um, because you know I, I don't have a name for this place yet but once I do I'm gonna write all the rules out um, and this one is a log book so I you know I have uh, this little note here it says please do not hit the sign button after logging a death but rather the done button thank you and then uh here's an example so let's say there are two players named steve uh one of them kills the other one so steve killed steve and then this is just an example date uh and yeah so this is just basically a logbook so that uh like when the season's over or whatever we can uh uh, we can, you know, uh, look back at all the deaths and everything. Uh, yeah, and so that's really all the changes that I have added here. Uh, and uh, this episode, I want to do a little bit uh, other things. I did some mining. Um, Bubba's coming. Oh, Bubba's coming on? Okay. Um, yeah, so I was working on the road a little bit, um, and 
and yeah, and so I was working on the road. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, I was working on the road a little bit, and I got to, I got, like, closer to the shop area. Um, oh, wait, sheep. I've been on a sheep shearing rampage, shearing a bunch of sheep, a bunch of, uh, wild sheep, so I can get more and more, uh, wool, because, <laughs> um, I was making all those banners. Uh, hi there. Um, yeah, so I was making all the, all those, uh, banners, um, and, uh, what, I think he's talking to Bubba. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, um, I was making all those banners and I needed a lot of, uh, wool. <laughs> so I just went around cheering a whole bunch of sheep. Uh, yeah, look, so this is, this is, uh, all new here. All this, all this road. Um, uh, just go along what I've done. Uh, oh, I need to chop down this tree. Okay, <laughs> I gotta do that. Um, and then, yeah, and so there's a little bit of a gap here, uh, because it's gonna cross over this river, but then I, I continued the road right here. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I continued the road right here, and this is, this the, um, the marketplace over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the, uh, the road go kind of, like, weaving in and out of some of the places. So, like, I kind of want to make it go in between these little water places, um, and then kind of over here, and then, you know, whatnot. But, um, I need something to bridge the gap, so to speak, um, over the, uh, over the little river. And so I thought, you know what? I want to make a literal bridge, uh, to bridge the gap. <laughs> um, yeah, that's gonna be kind of cool. I was trying to decide, like, a suspension bridge or, or what. I don't want to do, like, the same kind of bridge that I have for my house. Um, but I'm gonna go get some materials, uh, and head right back on over here, uh, to get started. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I have a design in mind. I haven't pre-built this or anything, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. I may uh, end up hating it, so <laughs> I don't know, but I kind of want the floor of the bridge to be out of stone brick. I'm going to count out how far it is. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, 24. Uh, okay. That's gonna be okay. Um... Yeah, so I kind of want to make the floor out of this, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna make uh, like some pillar kind of things with the polished diorite, because uh, it's gonna be like a suspension bridge. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll see how that goes. So I uh, I have the the bottom part of it, like the actual road part of it, done. But now I want to plan out where I put the columns, and so if it's 24, I want to put it every six. So let's see, uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six. So like here, wait, here, maybe? I don't know, I'll, I'll figure out some spots and uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay, so uh, these are the, um, these are the, uh, I guess the, the appearance, with the, uh, the positioning, there you go, that's what I was trying to say, of the, uh, <clears throat> the placement of the, uh, the pillars, um, yeah, I decided to make them on a diorite, because I had some, and I think it's actually gonna look good, um, I'm gonna make, like, the, the cross wiring kind of things out of stone slabs, um, and, uh, yeah, so, 
Let's see, what could I do? Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out exactly... Oh, oops, that's not what I tried to do. I'm trying to figure out exactly how tall I need to make it all. Ten blaze rods for two iron blocks. Um, no? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Uh, I kind of want to have, like, it like this. Uh, um, <laughs> he's trying to make me a deal, but I don't want to take it. Uh, I don't need any blaze rods right now. Um, getting a little bit of lag. Okay. So, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll come up with something and I'll get right back to you. I'm taking up a little bit too much time. Okay. So, I finished the bridge. Uh, I kind of like the design of it. I'm not, uh, not that sad with it. I, I'm pretty happy. Um, the only thing I'm not all that happy about is how thin it is. Like, it's really a really skinny bridge. Um, but the only thing is, is that if I tried to widen it out a little bit, it look kind of awkward because it wouldn't like flow correctly with the uh, um, with the rest of the road, so I kind of had to make it skinny. But um, yeah, but like the design of it and that, like looking at it from a distance, it actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I just had to get rid of that little temporary bridge underneath there, but I'll, I'll do that off camera because it's a little boring. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, though, but, um, before I actually leave you off, I want to give you a little bit of, uh, like, some updates and stuff. Uh, so I've been, I've been, uh, uh fishing a bit. I got, actually got a saddle from fishing, and I got this, uh, kind of nice bow. I got another one also, but it's, uh, back in my place. Got some fish, um, you know. Uh, and then I also expanded my, um my personal farm that I have, so I now have melons and carrots and potatoes, uh, which is kind of nice, because I can just carry the melons like this and, whoop, eat, eat, uh, um, yeah, and, uh, so there's that, um, and another thing, um, so I know that Fossil actually wanted to know something about the uh, the game, the death game kind of thing. Um, if a like a lava trap would work, and no, the only way for a death to actually count would be to kill them with one of the weapons provided by the game. That is like using like the bow or the sword or whatever. Um, you have to use that, otherwise the death does not count. Um, and I, also, I just wanted to say one thing. Um, this is regarding pranks on the server, because I know there have been some recent pranks and uh, and whatnot, and some people are taking like what we've set forth a little bit uh, differently than others. Um, and basically, like what we what we really wanted to do with the pranks on this server is that like allow them so that people can have their fun, but at the same time don't destroy what other people are trying to do. So like for instance, um, like don't uh, if you know for sure that like a person is trying to live for a while, don't do a prank that'll kill them. So yeah, I think the rule shouldn't be like no TNT that'll that'll uh, destroy someone's property. It should really be no pranks whatsoever that will destroy someone's goals or property. So, like, if I'm trying to get to 100 levels, I'm going to try to stay alive as long as I can. So, no one should really prank me will kill me. Like, no one should give me a prank that should kill me. Um, but if I don't really care about death, then... Um, yeah, so I think that that should really be the rules on that. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm also going to be at the CES convention. I would like to record from there. Uh, so that may be my next video, um, but yeah, uh, I, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Uh, if you like me, feel free to subscribe. That's going to be it. See you next time.